how three-way light switches work. In this presentation, we'll learn how to control a light using a three-way switch, which is convenient when there are two or more entrances to a room or an upper and lower stairwell. We'll show several different wiring configurations using three-way switches. Electrical safety warning. Whenever working with electrical, be sure to shut off the power at the electrical panel and hire a qualified electrician to do the installation if you are not confident that you can do the job safely. Electricity can kill. If we look at a three-way switch, we'll see that it has four terminal screws. We have two traveler terminals, which are usually identified by their light color of bronze or copper, a ground terminal in green, and a common terminal, often a dark color. A three-way switch won't have an on-off designation that can be found on standard switches, as either position could be on or off. With this layout, we have the light fixture between the two switches. We'll connect the incoming electrical power to the common terminal of switch number two. Then we route the black traveler wire for switch number two to switch number one. We will do the same thing for the red traveler wire between the two switches. Then from the common terminal on switch number one, we connect directly to the light or into a fixture electrical box. Next, we bring in the neutral wire from the power source and connect directly to the light. We also bring in the ground wire from the electrical panel and connect to each of the switches. If we remove the switch covers and look inside, we can see how these three-way light switches work. Inside is a single pole double throw switch, which provides each switch with an option to connect to the common terminal with either the red or black traveler terminal. When both of the switches are not in the same configuration, such as shown here, with one connected to a black traveler terminal and the other switch connected to a red traveler terminal, the light is off. We can see this by following the power from the source, the black common wire, from the electrical panel to the common terminal on switch number two. Then passing through the switch to the black traveler terminal and then on to switch number one where it dead ends. If we flip switch number one to the black traveler wire, then the light comes on as the electrical circuit has a complete path through both switches to the light. The process of turning on and off the light can occur from either switch as we show here with now flipping of switch number two to break the electrical circuit and shut the light off. In order to turn the light back on, we have two options. We can flip switch number one to the red traveler terminal so that it matches with switch number two, or just flip back switch number two to the black traveler terminal. Now we'll install a light fixture after two three-way switches. From the power source, we'll bring the black hot wire to switch number two's common terminal. Note that this wire is usually black but your wire could be another color. Then we'll run a black traveler wire from the three-way switch number one to the same terminal on switch number two. This could be from the left side of one switch to the left side of the other. Next, we'll install a red traveler wire from the right side of switch number one to the right side of switch number two. This gives us a second optional path to the light through the red traveler wires from the black hot wire brought to the common terminal. Then we install an outlet box and run the black wire from the dark common terminal screw on the bottom of switch number two to the light fixture. Now we have one complete path from the source all the way to the light. Next we install the incoming white neutral wire, which is usually white, and we can connect to the light fixture. Then we install the green ground wire from our source to the outlet box's ground terminal, and then to each of the ground terminals on the switches. The ground is usually an insulated green wire or can be bare copper wire. In the fixture's electrical box, there should be a place to land the ground wire. We have four connections on each switch, two travelers, one common, 
and one ground. When we turn on the power and both switches have the same traveler terminal connected to common, then the light will come on as shown here where both black traveler wires are in the same position. This could be either both black or both red travelers in the same position. When one of the switches is flipped, so as there is no matching traveler wire, that provides a complete path to the hot common wire, the light goes off, as shown here with switch number one being flipped off. The three-way switch doesn't indicate the light is on when the switch is in the up position and off when the down position. The light being off or on is determined when there is a matching pair of traveler wires that provide a complete path for the power to the light. In a stairwell, we can mount a light high above and install a switch at the top and bottom of the stairwell. We bring in a power using a black wire and connect to the common terminal on switch number one. From switch number one, we run a black traveler wire to switch number two's traveler wire terminal. And from the common on switch number two, we run a black wire to the light fixture. Then we run a red second traveler wire from switch number one to switch number two. We install a neutral wire from the electrical panel to the light fixture. Lastly, we provide a green insulated ground wire from the panel to each of the light switches. If we looked inside, we could see that each switch has a single pole and a double throw, meaning that the switch has two options, to either have the common connected to traveler terminal number one or number two. When both of the switches are on the same traveler terminal as shown here, the power runs through to the light. If either of the switches changes position, then the light will go off. The electrical power comes through the black common wire connected to switch number two and uses the red wire to reach terminal number two on switch number one, where it flows through the common wire to the light, making a complete circuit. If you like that video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.